Hey guys, the Mossy Cobble here, and welcome to part 2 of Dungeon Raider. So we're on our way, last time we discovered the Sand Temple, and now, and we also got a, a dog. But today, I'm planning on going back to our spawn point, just to get ourselves a horse, because in the Sand Temple, we got a saddle and horse armor, so I'm hoping to use those today. And our dog is with us, hopefully you can see him, and suggest a name for our dog in the comments, guys. And subscribe if you haven't already, because my channel went down subscribers a lot recently. So I started this brand new series, hopefully to recover most of my subscribers. So yeah, let's get started. So my dog is following me. And yeah, we got a horse. So let's ride him. Oh, we need to have no weapon in hand. So let's try to tame our brand new horse, which won't get tamed for some reason. Dude, he has like super low hearts. This one is better. So, yeah, he won't then get tamed for ages. So guys, this is a very long process. Hopefully it works soon. As soon as we see the hearts, this thing is actually working. And this, yes, F wait, I saw the heart and then he tossed me off. Now I can put my golden horse armor as well as my saddle on him. Oh, no, wait, sorry guys, a noob over here. So yeah, now my horse looks epic. So now that we have two pets, let's get on with our adventure. So hopefully today I can get some armor. I thought this was an enderman, but it was another horse. And thanks to the golden armor, my horse looks different from most of the other horses. Since he doesn't have a name, this will make it easier to distinguish him from other horses. How high can he jump? Let's test him out. Can he jump all the way up here? Almost. Yup, he can jump all the way up there. How many blocks are that? One, two, three, four blocks. Wow. So this horse is quite impressive right off the bat. So hopefully today I'm going to get myself some armor. Uh, hopefully iron armor. We've got eight iron, so let me just put down my crafting table and craft myself a chest plate. So there we go. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not starting at the same place we left off last episode, it's because I started recording, but the file corrupted or something, so that's why it didn't work out. So yeah, today we're gonna go over in that direction. I'm pretty sure we've been there before, that's where the sand temple is. But we'll go ahead further than the sand temple to see what's over there. And I like how I'm moving my hands while talking, even though you guys can't even see them. But there are a lot of chickens here, I won't mind killing a few. So, die. Die. Oh no, almost hit my dog. Yep, die. And I don't know where I got this rabbit from. I think I got it at the start of the video, not sure though. Oh, it must be from the failed recording. Let me just put the stick out of the way. It's annoying me. So guys, today I just watched Lego Batman the movie. I know it's been out for a while. I didn't watch it till now. Finally got the chance and did it. And wow, we found some sheep. So my dog can handle this. What? My dog multiplied? Wait, guys are seeing this? There are two dogs now. That are my pets. They multiplied. Guys, that's like the weirdest thing I've ever seen that's never happened to me before. So, I guess we have two dogs now. Guys, it's just names for both of them. I guess they're twins or clones of one another. Not sure, but that's weird. Having two dogs? Uh, they multiplied, guys. And I'm serious, I'm not playing any tricks on you guys right now. They've legit multiplied. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. Let me know in the comments if that ever happened to you guys in Minecraft, where your dogs multiplied. So 
Yeah, I'm hoping to find another dungeon today. Hopefully I can find something. Wait. Guys, in this series, I've been the luckiest person in the world so far. We found a, a village. So, our second temple, I said in the last episode that it wasn't gonna be this easy from now on. Look, my horse took a bit of damage. But, turns out, it is this easy. Wow, oh, I see a creeper down there. Should I take him on? Or, no. I guess I should. One strike, second strike, and... Ooh, I was gonna make the ground fall on him like this. But that wouldn't have worked out. So, yeah, we've got a blacksmith here. 16 gold for 3 em er, emeralds. Uh, emeralds. Emeralds. I can't speak the word emeralds today. So, he's selling a shovel, which we don't need since it's an iron one. Let's see what he has in his shop over here. Ooh, two blacksmiths. And mostly the same trade. So let's see what's inside. Ooh, we got some obsidian. We can start working on our nether portal so we can go to another temple. I said we wanted some armor. Now we have enough to. Uh, we have some boots. And can we make a. Set of leggings with nine iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only need seven iron, and we have more than enough. So all we'll need now is just a helmet, and we'll be ready to go. So let me just put on my shoes and let me craft my leggings. There. So now we're got almost full iron armor. We found a village, we found a blacksmith, this is the best Minecraft series I've ever done. And our dogs multiplied, which is crazy. That has actually never happened to me before, that much luck. And especially with me. If you guys haven't seen my other survival series, you know I died on the third episode. Where's my horse by the way? Can't seem to find him. I, I must find him before it's night time because I don't want him to get lost or anything and got some bookshelves we can work on enchantments but where is my horse guys congratulations we just lost the horse we got and he's got our saddle and everything on him come on he must be around here I got off of him to kill that creeper back there. He must be back there somewhere. Let's just travel back to where I killed that creeper. Where was it actually? Pretty sure it was on... Yeah, it was right here. I killed that creeper. So... Oh, there he is. Yep, he traveled way too far. So let's just get him indoors just to make sure he's safe and risk these villagers lives you know brothers of Triton if you guys don't know who Triton is you will in the future he did appear in only one video so far so I wouldn't blame you if you don't know who he was yeah let's just get inside There. Now, let's just build up really quickly. So one of our dogs is inside, one of them is outside. Thank God we didn't die on the second episode. This is like the most scariest series I've ever done. So do we have enough to craft a bed? Yep, we do. So let me just take my crafting table and craft a bed Ooh, this is a scary series and now we need enough space to put the bed down and sleep guys so far we've been way too lucky i'm almost thinking the series is gonna be boring if 
We are this lucky. Well, let me just break this bed. Both our dogs are inside now. And let's just go outside of the village. Let me just break the sand door I created. And let's go outside. And for those of you who think I'm cheating, really I'm not. I'm just super lucky nowadays in Minecraft. So let me just steal some of their crops, because that's what we do. Oh no, creeper. Creeper, 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 creeper. I don't want my horse to die, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run away. Yep. And let me just take all their carrots and everything. He's looking at me like, why is stealing our stuff, dude? But I actually need a lot of food right now since I'm low on food. You can't see right now, but now you can see that I'm low on food. So yeah. Thank god we got a horse for this series, so our hunger would deplete much slower because he won't need to sprint a lot. Yeah, so far a pretty good series. So I can just collect all the carrots. Now my other goal is to collect all the bookshelves. So for that, where should I leave my horse? I think I'm gonna leave him at the blacksmith's place. Oh no! Guys, one of our wolves died. And the other one barely made it alive. You okay, wolf? That creeper blew up our wolf. Dude, guys, RP wolf. One like equal to one prayer. So in the comments below, write RIP wolf. Because he died on his debut. He was a clone. Naturally generated. Another creeper is coming, I'm gonna run away as fast as I can. I don't want my other dog to die the same way. So let's just try to find some bookshelves around here. So we've got a lot of these big houses, but none of them have bookshelves in them so far. We've got remains of a dead skeleton over here. This village should be called the village of death or something. Literally everybody's dying. I'm almost dead. So let me just eat some of these stolen carrots. And yes, I see some books inside. So guys, we're gonna do this with style this time. This time, we're gonna break the windows. Which is taking way longer than I expected it to take. And then we're gonna race inside. Yes. So let me just take all the bookshelves. And this is gonna take a while, guys. I haven't got a axe right now. So let me just see if I can craft one. Yep, and our inventory is full. Almost full already, so. Yeah. Oh, that's orange hardened clay. According to 1.12, it's orange. What was it called? It started with P. Yeah, orange terracotta. That's what it will be called in the future. Because I can predict the future. Because if you guys didn't know, I have a time machine in real life, which can help me time travel and stuff. But yeah, let me just grab an axe. Let me just find a place to put it let's get rid of all those seeds we won't be having a permanent base anyway so we can't start farming or anything and this is taking way longer than i expected it to so yeah do we have any stone on us no we don't so you couldn't craft a stone one let's get all this stuff out of my way 
come on, dude, this fence is taking forever to break. Guys, I might cut the video right now, but I might not, actually. Wait, let me just get off this horse and see how long it takes now. Let me just get out of F5. So it's taking a lot less longer. So sitting on the horse like multiplies that time by two or something. So fun fact about Minecraft, you guys never knew before. So apparently right now books are way more useful than sticks to cross. So let's get out of here. Where's the window? Yep. So guys, we have explored two dungeons so far. This has been a fun episode so far. Let's just play a bit longer. There are a lot of caves here, which means a lot of creepers. So I'm not gonna stay in this area for long. I'm actually gonna go into a different place right now. So we've got some more sugarcane. Let's see what's beyond this world. I don't want to fall inside. No. Man, this is making my life hard. So we need to somehow push our horse back up here and then climb a mountain. Yep, there we go. Finally. So apparently our horses cannot swim, so have to push him along the river. I wish we had a boat right now, I can craft that later, not now though. This is really hard. Come on horse. Finally. So we got out of the river, we've got many sheep over here. Which are good for food, but for now I think we don't need them since our inventory is already full. So I'm trying to find a grassy area which is larger than this one, because for the most part we've covered all the temples that can spawn in a desert biome. And so far this seems like a huge desert biome. So yeah, village and sand temples have been crossed off the list. Now we need to go cave diving so you can find some strongholds and stuff. So I hope we're successful at that. And wait, was it the acacia biome where these strongholds spawned on land? I can't remember, or I'll have to check, but there is a lot of acacia biome next to us. So we can travel there whenever we want to. And funny thing, oh, another sand temple. Guys, what are the odds? Two dungeons in one episode. That's crazy, I keep hitting my mic by accident. So I'm super excited. But this is going to be a little more dangerous. Since we have seen a lot of skeletons and zombies and creepers and stuff so far. So I'm not very confident. We put down... Seriously, put it down completely wrong. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Run, 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 run. Dog sit here. Guys, we're gonna fight off a creeper. One hit, two hits, and boom. That wasn't really that bad. Hope there's nothing more in there. So I'm gonna do that. Put this. Oh no, I just realized my horse is gonna run away. Which he has already done successfully. Why does that horse hate me so much? And where is he now? And I lost my horse. Excellent. Guys, where is he? Where can he go, really? And it's getting to night time. So, as much as I'm tempted to explore this temple, I'm 
gonna try to find my horse first because he's more important than writing a temple that's already been written. So yeah, let's just try to find our horse before it gets night time. Let's just get my dog out of the sitting position so he can follow and battle next to us. Guys, I'm really, really afraid that I've lost my horse. Shouldn't have been that careless, but then again, he would have died if I took him in battle with me. Where can he be? That's cool, by the way, with the way that sand fall off, falls off. But where is that horse? Guys, I guess we'll find out next time where my horse went, because I can't find it. Well, this sh sure is creepy and it's getting to my time, so I'm just gonna build up and stay over here and look for my dog on the next episode of Dungeon Raider. So I hope he's not permanently lost. And let's just hope we can find him. Thank God I climbed up here. There are a lot of mobs down there. Oh, there he is, right there. So guys, we know where our horse is. This is a good enough time to end off the episode. So guys, see you later. Bye. Subscribe. Share this video. Like and comment down below. So yeah. Bye.